Welcome back to the fine home building house here in Prairie Village, Kansas. Joe and I are excited because we have moved forward to the drywall stage. Yes, big accomplishment in our world. On this project, we're using 5 8 thick drywall, and that was specified by the architect for a couple of reasons. You get a stiffer board, which gives you a flatter wall on the two foot centers that we're using for our exterior wall framing. And then you also get some additional sound attenuation. Thicker, denser product means less sound moves through that system. And so it really just provides a, a better experience for the client. Yeah, yeah. And that mixed with our insulation package, I think it's gonna be a very quiet house. The different levels of drywall finish that most people are familiar with are like a, a fire taping, which I think is a level two, uh, where you just have literally put paper tape up and a, a skim of compound and now it's got its fire rating. Level three, you've spotted yeah. all your nail holes. And then at level four, you have gone ahead and done two fills, you know, taped, filled, and then a final coat and sand it smooth. That's the level that we're going to on this project. When you're hanging drywall sheets, you have some waste that's created by needing to land your, your boards on structural members so that you can screw to them. And that's something that's sort of gone away with the advent of buttboard. Uh, buttboard's a Trimtex product. Uh, it's basically a sheet of OSB that has full thickness at the edges and then a slight profile that makes it thinner here. And the way that that works is when you go to install it, rather than landing on a structural member, you actually wanna break your joints in the field between them, ideally centered between the structural members. The taper is really important because it allows for that flatness that we're trying to achieve on our project to be created much more efficiently. If we already have this taper, when we go to fill it with tape and mud, we can do a full coat without ever projecting beyond the surface of the paper face drywall. With the butt board, we screw it tight to the inside of the profile on both boards and it creates a tapered joint at that butt because our rafters are here and here so by landing that in the middle, we have created the same condition that is ideal for finishing for a flat, low effort finish. It's fewer passes, less mud, which means less product and less sanding. In this project, our trim is not uh, very heavy. We basically have a window sill, we have a minimal baseboard, minimal casings, but our window, the drywall is essentially our finished product. So what we'll use here is a corner bead on this spot right here. They'll apply it with a spray adhesive and then they will mud it into place. Right here, we're gonna use a tearaway bead against our windows. So same deal, spray adhesive. The mudders, tapers, will actually tape to this spot right here and go all the way down. When we are done drywalling, they will tear away this bead right here and that'll give us a nice, clean, finished look against our windows. We also have a lot of lighting trays in this house. I think we have like five or six of them. You can see here, we have this drywall plane and then it recesses and we have a little void back here. We'll be using LED tape that will be attached right in this tray. And then the drywallers will finish it off with this Trimtex J-bead and they will spray adhesive, we'll mud this, this for when you're standing in the kitchen, you're looking down this long line of this lighting tray, it's gonna be a nice straight line and it's gonna look great. It's gonna project light up onto the ceiling and kind of give it a nice warm glow. So you get that continuity of lighting, which leads the eye around all the features of the house. As your eye comes across to the entryway, this is the front door of the home. This is where the guests enter. And we have the same feature here, but the light sits on top of that edge broadcasting the light up and then washing down this wall. So you can see how crucial it is that these walls be flat. That light guides us all the way. And this basically invites the guests into the home where they can visit the people who live here. So in order to achieve all these key details that really put the mark on the house, we need to have a clean finish. That's the whole essence of mid-century modern design. It's clean lines. It all ties together. Flat, straight, that's the mark of this home.